Hello, and welcome back to Anarchapulco 2019. And we are here with the great G. Edward Griffin, who is one of the heroes of the revolution and one of my personal heroes. He is the author of Creature from Jekyll Island, which gives you the whole layout of the Fed and the creation of the artificial money system and the basically the enslavement through, through money and also the author of Worlds Without Cancer, which through talking about Laetrile and B-17 as being primarily the, the cure for cancer, exposes the whole pharmaceutical medical industry, you know, debacle. You might say I have chosen my enemies well. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly have laid a large web, that's for sure. I'm, yeah, there's some people that don't like what I'm doing. Well, and yet you are, you have thrived. You've been out there hitting the pavement. You've been constantly talking about these issues and you've been in, personally responsible for awakening a humongous amount of people. I mean, it's so many people have read uh, either one of these books and have attributed it to the cause of their awakening, their red pill moment. And that's, yeah, that's very rewarding to hear that because when I get involved in a topic like that, Typically, I have no idea where it's going to go. Mm -hmm. I, I don't start off with a preconceived sure. idea, except there's something about it that is intriguing to me, like where does money come from and what causes inflation and you know that kind of thing. So I thought, well, I'll find out. Typically, if I knew at the beginning how complicated it was <laughs> and, and all the forces of intrigue and opposition that are involved, I probably wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole. It's kind of like parenthood. So, yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> parenthood is a good example. Yeah, ignorance is uh, sometimes very comfortable. <laughs> right. Well, you gave this wonderful talk where you laid out, um, I mean, we all know our, our governmental systems are in absolute disrepair. They should either go away completely or, or we have to throw everyone out. Uh, but what you did was you broke it down so succinctly, uh, giving us the true, the true base core problems uh, which centered on collectivism versus individualism, right? And uh, true education right there. Uh, and then you said, uh, you made a certain statement about the group in which you said, once you get this, you'll never be fooled again. Mm -hmm. So I was wondering if you would want to talk about the group right now, the illusion of which. Yeah, that's a very, uh, it's, it's a very philosophical concept. It's an abstract yes. concept. And so it's not immediately apparent. It wasn't mm -hmm. to me. And I don't know how it came to my mind, but it, it, it has its origin in the idea that uh, we should support the group, if necessary, to sacrifice the individual in order for the greater good of the greater number. Right. That's taught in school. Mm -hmm. And I, I was taught that in school. It sounded like sure. a perfectly good idea to me. We all the greater that. good, that's democracy, isn't it? Yes. You know? vote, majority rule, and all that sort of thing. So I never questioned it mm -hmm. until much later, and I began to see the things that were being done, horrible things being done in the name of preserving democracy or something. I, Wait a minute, this doesn't sound like my idea of democracy. Yeah, the majority all right, but oops, the majority is, is off track, you know, Absolutely. now what? When the majority starts infringing on the rights of the minority, Exactly. Just because they can, they've got the votes, uh, and you can see that an injustice is being done to a minority, even a minority of one, a one person sometimes, it gets mm -hmm. the brunt of that. Um, it caused me to, to really question some of my core assumptions about where does the authority of government come from, is majority rule a good idea, what really is this word democracy, and why am I reading stuff from our founding fathers that said, hey, the last thing we want in America is a democracy. Mm -hmm. These are jarring things, you know. So anyway, that's how it all got started. And uh, and as you know, because you heard my presentation, which was kind of a condensed version of what I hope will be uh, my next book, uh, <laughs> dealing with that issue. Excellent. Yeah, I, I discovered in my research that there were certain common denominators mm -hmm. among all of the modern totalitarian systems. And it was a common denominator to communism, fascism, Nazism. You find it, you know, everywhere um, in in the literature of people who are, you know, a people's revolution, and it turns mm -hmm. out to be not bad at all. Right. The people are being led by some powerful ruling elite. The French Revolution is a, probably the shocker of the, my life exactly. because I, I thought that was a rise up of the peasants. That's what I thought too. I, but it, when you really dig into the history, no, there were 
forces behind the scenes, hidden agendas. So exactly. it, it's part of the learning process. So it led me to try and catalog the different common denominators to mm -hmm. all of the systems of modern society that we, in some cases, fought wars to defeat. And it was yes. stunning and shocking to find out that the elements that they believed in that drove those systems are elements that Americans believe in. Mm -hmm that I believed in. Yes, indeed. I thought, wow, how can this be? I think I'm, I'm fighting communism, and I think I'm against Nazism and fascism, and yet my own government is adopting the principles upon which those beliefs are based. Yes. And I'm voting for it and saying, good show. Hello. Yes, yeah. exactly. So that's what it's all about. Now more than ever. Now more than ever. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I cannot wait for your book to come out. <laughs> well, thank <laughs> Let's you. promote that far and wide. <laughs> well, I can tell you most of it, what I talked about today is already online if anybody wants to read Wonderful. it. Wonderful. And where? Yeah. What? what's your website? Well, they have to come to our Freedom Force website. Freedom Force. Yeah, freedomforceinternational.org. Okay. And uh, they, they'll go to uh, the Creed of Freedom, really, is the introduction to this topic. And mm -hmm. that's one of the side panel indexes. Okay. And once they get to the Creed of Freedom, I think they'll like what they see. It's sort of a condensed version of all this. And then at the bottom, there's a link to something called the Chasm, mm. which is a PDF uh, file of a long essay that I'm writing on this. It's probably about 30 pages or something like that. Okay. And that's where it gets into the details of this. So. Anybody that really wants to, to dig it out will find it there in the chasm. Well, we'll link everything below the video. Okay. And well, also, you have the Red Pill Expo coming up mm -hmm. uh, in June. In ah, yes. That, that's my favorite, of course. Because, you know, some of us get so deep into the ideology and the history. We get mm -hmm. we climb into our little ivory tower, and we're talking about things, and the average person looks at you with a glazed look like, Hey, what about this? You know, this means, what does this mean to me? So I've always been, within the last 20 years or so, I've been in search of some way to bridge the, the ivory tower and to where people really live in their daily lives. Nice. How do you do that? How do you communicate this in a way that's understandable and mm -hmm. accessible? And I thought, you know, there's a movie that came out almost 20 years ago now called The Matrix. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think everyone's... Everybody's heard of it. <laughs> most people have seen it. And in case you haven't seen it, it's simply the storyline where the human race is living in a huge illusion, mm -hmm. uh, being subjected by some mysterious power called The Matrix. And they're, what they think, it's all in their minds. They think they're leading normal lives, but it's mm -hmm. an illusion. Actually, they're they're slaves, they're exactly. captives to the ruling forces. And to break out of that illusion, you take the red pill. Mm -hmm. and if, you, if you don't like reality, sometimes it's pretty harsh. You know, illusion can be comforting. It's false, but it's comforting. It's if you want to go back to sleep, take the blue pill. Yeah. So that's the basis of the whole thing. We're, we're looking for people that really want to know the mm -hmm. truth, even though it may not be very comforting. Exactly. So I thought, what if we have a red pill expo? Perfect. And we just talk about those many things in our lives which are illusions. Mm -hmm. If you really, you know, take the blinders off or take the red pill, you can see, oh my gosh, I've been fooled on this. <coughs> so that's me. what it's all about. This is our third one now. Lovely. And uh, each one has grown so far, and the, the interest on this is just Oh, it's going to be mind. phenomenal. Well, it's going to be phenomenal, yeah. So we have speakers, all of whom are... Uh, dispensers of red pills in their exactly. respective fields. Exactly. So uh, it's in. Um, it'll be held in mm. Hartford, Connecticut, mm -hmm. in June, June seventh, eighth, and ninth. Perfect. Now we know most people, probably watching your podcast here, are not going to be able to come to Hartford. So we've gone to great lengths to, to create a um, a live stream. Mm. So for very low amount of, of ticket for to get into that, you can watch the whole two day event in the comfort of your home. Wonderful live stream. It's awesome. I'm going to do my best to be there. Okay, well, I hope you will be there. I will because that's best. where the excitement is. Absolutely. That's where this, you meet the, people. The energy, yeah. the, the, the energy coming off this man is phenomenal. Oh. It's like, <laughs> and, and just being in the audience in a live venue makes all the difference in the world. Yeah, that's where the, that's where the excitement comes in. Yes. You meet new friends. All of us thought at one time, we're all alone. Nobody else, am I going crazy? But then we find out. It's just the opposite. We look at our television sets, and it looks like the whole world is... Is, uh, has a different viewpoint than ours. Yes, indeed. But that's theater. It's a very small percentage Absolutely of people. Absolutely, it is. Yeah. 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 So uh, I, I can't wait to attend. It's going to be marvelous. It will be, yes. I and can. you are incredible. And I thank oh. you so much for everything. Oh.